When a smartphone like the Pixel 5 gets stuck on a black screen and would no longer respond, the problem can either be with the hardware, or just be a minor system crash. So as the owner of the phone, you have to try and troubleshoot it to know what the problem really is. In this video, we will guide you in fixing a Google Pixel 5 that's stuck on a black screen. First solution, perform the forced restart. When it comes to fixing an issue like this, the forced restart is often enough to make your phone respond again. It's because black screen issues are often due to a firmware crash. It's a pretty minor problem but will make your device unresponsive, and if you don't know what to do, you might think it's a hardware problem. So to fix it, here's what you need to do. Press and hold the power key for 8 seconds. This will trigger your Pixel 5 to boot up. If the Google logo shows, release the power key and wait until the boot process is completed. Once you can make the logo show on the screen, it means that the problem is fixed as you've already made your device respond or power on. However, if it is still stuck on the black screen, then move on to the next solution. Second solution, charge your phone and do the forced restart. It's possible that the phone's battery is completely drained that's why it won't turn on. However, there are times when the firmware crashes just before the phone shuts down, if you allow it to run out of juice. So if the first solution fails, here's what you should do next. Plug the charger to a working wall outlet. Connect the phone to its charger using the original charging cable. Regardless of whether the charging sign shows or not, leave it connected to the charger for at least 10 minutes. After that, press and hold the power key for 8 seconds or more. If the Google logo shows, then it means the problem is fixed and the problem might have been due to a drained battery coupled with a system crash. However, if your Pixel 5 is still stuck on the black screen even after doing these procedures, then it's time to bring it to a tech as the problem can be with the hardware. We hope that this troubleshooting guide can help you one way or the other. Please support us by subscribing to our channel, and don't forget to enable the notifications. Thanks for watching.